Good afternoon, crafty friend Sparkle here. So, I'm just coming to you with a quick um, flip through of a beautiful kit I received from Cheryl's Craft, and it's called Rainy Day Digital. And um, it's so cute. I've decided to print these at five by seven, and what I'm going to make is. I had some leftover um, file, so I just cut a piece of this out, and I'll give you measurements and stuff when we put it together, but it's just going to have like a quarter inch uh, seam here, and when you fold these in half, they make cute little pages, okay? So I printed those, and then you could fold them in half, and I added... Um, I started pulling some of my decorative papers just to play with. Uh, copy filter, music sheet. So it'll be like this size. It's just going to be a sweet little journal. I'm going to add a lot of uh, pockets and things. I'm going to show you some of the pieces. There's 40 pages in this kit. Okay? I printed maybe 20 of them. Uh, so I didn't print everything, but I printed what I'm going to use right now, hopefully. I'm still on my uh, free printing package because of my new printer, so it's a good way for me to get things printed now for later, okay? So just look at these darling images. I think they are so sweet. I did them double-sided so that when they're folded, this one is not double-sided, so I'm just going to ink the back. But then when they're double-sided, you'll see, you know, the backs. So just, it, it doesn't rain a lot in the desert here, but when it does, it's just very mesmerizing. And I just love these images. They are spectacular. I think this one says rainy day. The rainy day. There's some boots with some flowers, some lightning. She really captured everything beautifully. The raindrops, another window scene. And then, uh, like I said, I didn't print everything, but here's some coin envelopes. And all of these should fit in here, whatever I printed here, okay? There's a duck and an elephant, a raincoat, some flowers. They should all fit in there. Some stamps. Here's a bicycle. This is a another, um, I just printed two of the coin envelopes. And then these are just um, standard envelopes, the smaller ones. Those will be cute to put ephemera in. Then she had little squares. And I think these are, um, so they're an inch and a quarter. They're almost like inches. I'm not sure what I'll do with these yet. I might just um, make some inches out of these and maybe frame them. And then here's some of her fussy cuts. Everything I um, put five by seven so they match the pages. So I scaled them down. This was a freebie on her Kofi page. You can get the kit either on Etsy or on her Kofi, Kofi page, and I'll leave all the links. So I made um, I made stickers out of these. They're dogs and cats. They're so cute. I don't see a Shih Tzu like I have, but it doesn't matter. They're cute. So I thought those would be cute. And then I printed, um, there's lots of uh, words and phrases. I printed these on tissue paper, and I thought they could be backed with something. I'm not sure what yet, but if they're backed, they look really cool. Okay, so I just wanted to print on different papers and things. Just having to have, I have to have an idea uh, before I print out so I know which direction I might be going. And these are um, some tags. They have large tags and smaller tags. And again, these are scaled down to 5 by 7 And here's some little ephemera pieces, like little cigarette cards type things like that. And these are so, so cute. And then these were some ATCs. 
I still think I want to um, cut them apart and make, so I would have to cut this off and reverse it, and then I could make um, a zine, you know, one of my little zines that I like to make. So I would have to cut this. And these would face me, and then these would be flipped. And then when you print it, it'll fold up like this. And then you have a little book. So I might, I might do that with this. And then here's some little pockets for the journal cards that we have. And I did these small as well, so they should, they should fit nicely on, um, on the pages because I scaled them to that size. And then here's some journal cards that could go in these um, pockets. And I have to cut one because I'm vision. I need to make sure that's going to fit in there. These I did not shrink, so... If they don't, I did do print it on the back as well. You don't have to, but that's what I did. So this is going to be a fun kit. Thank you, Cheryl. So then, yeah. Yeah, these should fit in here when they're all folded. And these are um, slotted, slotted pockets, so they'll fit in there as well. So that's my plan, okay? So I need to cut everything out. Then, um, so if you're going to play along, uh, get your kit, print out the pieces you want, figure out what size you want. Now you can do this, um, you know, a full, full, let's see if I have one here. You can do, you know, a full size file folder and just keep your pages big. By, um, eight and a half by eleven, fold them in half. You can do that as well. But I just wanted to do something small. I'm just going to um, put some ties in here before I cover it. Uh, probably sew, do some sewing, and then this will go in here and we'll um, stitch it in. And I'll bring out some lace and things like that, and we'll, we'll doll it up a little bit. But uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up. That's going to be what we're working on next. So now that I showed you some of these beautiful pictures so you can get an idea, uh, I'll leave the links below, and I will, um, yeah, spend the next day or so cutting these images out. So I am ready to go, and when I come back, We'll have a play, and we will assemble our little journal. So thanks again, Cheryl, from Cheryl's Craft, and this is the Rainy Day Digital Kit. Bye now.